that 4% forecast for 2020 was based on the companies who participated in our survey, and that was based on their forecast. Although 110 companies participated, not all of them were able to provide a forecast for 2020. Those companies that did, um, they're likely to be those that are not so exposed to the Hong Kong economy. So they're likely to be those that are more regional in focus, so perhaps the regional operations of multinational companies, where their revenue in Hong Kong is not so influenced by what's going on here in the region. Um, likewise, the companies that reported they're generally large-scale organisations or multinationals. Um, the companies that are what we would classify as small to medium enterprises, they're the ones as well who were least able to provide us with a forecast because they're the ones who were most at risk. We saw that the technology um, sector that had an above average rate of increase which was 4.1%. Um, we will likely see other sectors such as banking and finance will continue to maybe outperform because once again this is, an, this is a sector which is not so directly affected by the local economy here in Hong Kong. Obviously we can't predict how long the current economic adversity um, will last for. If the current adverse economic situation continues then the longer it continues, the greater the likelihood will be that companies will have to lay off staff, and as such, the greater will be the likelihood that the unemployment rate will increase. Regarding how much it will increase, again, it will depend on the scale of the economic downturn.